Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday at the Feast of St. Kateri. Take a with us. We begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we continue our journey through life, there's so much about life we'd like to be able to master. And yet, we've, sometimes we have skills we're able to master, but for the most part, we really have to turn our lives over to God. So as we begin, let's reflect on the God we follow. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us for the sin we have committed. Bring each one of us home to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return unto the right path, give all for whom the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the days of Ahaz, king of Judah, son of Jotham, son of Uzziah, Rezin, king of Aram, and Pekah, king of Israel, son of Remaliah, went up to attack Jerusalem, but they were not able to conquer it. When word came to the house of David that Aram was encamped in Ephraim, the heart of the king and the heart of the people trembled as the trees of the forest tremble in the wind. Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out to meet Ahas, you and your son, Shir Jashub, at the end of the conduit of the upper pool on the highway of the fuller's field, and say to him, Take care you remain tranquil and do not fear. Let not your courage fail. Before these two stumps of smoldering brands, let us go up and tear Judah asunder, make it our own by force, and appoint the son of Tabeel king there. Thus says the Lord, This shall not stand, it shall not be. Damascus is the capital of Aram, and Rezin is the head of Damascus. Samaria is the capital of Ephraim, and Remaliah's son the head of Samaria. But within sixty years and five, Ephraim shall be crushed, no longer a nation. Unless your faith is firm, you shall not be firm. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God upholds his city forever. God upholds his city forever. Great is the Lord and holy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, fairest of heights, is the joy of all the earth. God upholds his city forever. Mount Zion, the recesses of the north, is the city of the great king. God is with her castles, renowned is he as a stronghold. God upholds his city forever. For lo, the kings assemble, they come on together. They also see and at once are stunned, terrified, routed. God, God upholds his city, city forever. Quaking seizes them there, anguish like a woman in labor, as though a wind from the east were shattering ships of Tarshish. God, God upholds his city forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done since they had not repented. Woe to you, Chorazin. Woe to you, Bethsaida. For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than you. And as for you, Capernaum, we will be exalted to heaven you will go down to the netherworld. For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on that day of judgment than for you, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. You know, in thinking about the gospel today, it's kind of confusing, and I thought about it and prayed about what to talk about, and, you know, considering our times, I thought about you know, our world kind of being out of control. And I think that might be the world that Jesus was talking to, that they've seen all the miracles, and yet they didn't repent. They didn't listen to Jesus. Even Jesus didn't control what those people's reaction were to his miracles. So I thought about that and I said, you know, our world is so out of control with the virus and all the things going on. You know, what do we do about that? How do we gain that control back? I think we need to turn our lives over to Jesus. We need that companionship, that relationship with Jesus. 
So I thought about that a little bit and said, if we get control of our lives, what do we do? You know, and I, I thought about this little story. And if you have a pile of rocks and there's a pile in that pile, there's a green rock and you're searching for that green rock, you're going to find it. But you might miss out on something else. There might have been a diamond in the rough there that you would have missed because you were so intent on finding that green rock. So I think if we're searching for the bad in life, we're going to find it. And we might miss out on all the good things that still go on, even in midst of the bad. I heard the phrase, with every blessing, there's a burden. But I think, you know, being logical, if you reverse that, with every burden, there are blessings. But we have to look for them. We have to search that pile to search for the good and be intent on searching for the, that good thing. So even in this pandemic, you know, we've learned a few things, maybe about ourselves, about our families. We got to slow down our lives a little bit. We got to spend more time with our families. Maybe we got to eat dinner together when we weren't able to do that before because we were so busy running around with sports or different things, different organizations. So there is always some good there, but you have to search for it. You have to pray about it. You have to turn your life over to Jesus, to God, to find those good things, to have that gratitude. And I think, you know, amidst the pandemic, I think we've learned that value of life, that appreciation for every day that we have on earth with our families, with our loved ones, and our relationship with God. So that's what I'd like you to reflect upon, finding the good, being grateful for everything that you have from God. God bless everyone. Let us now offer these petitions. For our nation, may God grant us restful peace and may we work together to eliminate all injustice, all hatred, and all poverty. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle with the burdens of depression, addictions, mental illness, anxiety, or stress, may the Lord give them healing and rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those suffering from sickness, may God help to comfort them and heal them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who serve in our country's armed forces, police, firefighters, all first responders, all those serving the public, may the Lord preserve and protect them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they come to share in the resurrection of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, may you continue to bless our lives to guide us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we this bread to give you, which earth has given and human hands have made, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we this wine to give you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Friends, let's pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept this sacrifice in our hands, hands for the, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of God's holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord. As she makes her prayer to you, grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring even greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, although you have no need of our praise, our desire to thank you is itself a gift. A prayer of thanksgiving adds nothing to your greatness, but helps us to grow in your grace through Jesus, your Son. So once again, we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Some of the way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember your servants, Jacqueline Unziata and Dolores Perry, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We now pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the faith of the church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed all those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effect may grow upon us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing truly guide this journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone. Same to you, Monsignor.